Hi there. How Hi, are Harry. You? Fine, thank you. Well, one of the things that I like to pride myself on is the close relationship I have with my patients. I spend a lot of time with my patients. I listen to them. Uh, I take the history myself. I do not delegate that to somebody else because I think it's very important to listen to that individual patient. Let me just have a quick listen to you and see if everything's working. Dr. Lees was highly recommended uh, for my open heart surgery. When I found out it was Dr. Lees, uh, I was elated because he did my mother's surgery 15 years ago and her surgery came out wonderful and uh, now it was my turn so I, I was very, very elated that, that he was going to be my surgeon. Dr. Lees is a British cardiac surgeon who received his medical degree from one of the world's most ancient institutions, the University of Glasgow. Founded in 1451 and home to some of the greatest pioneers in medicine, and alma mater of several kings. He then pursued his medical training at the Royal College of Surgeons before coming to the United States. He continued his work both at Stanford University, where he worked closely with the pioneer of heart transplantation, and later at the Cleveland Clinic, working alongside the cardiologists and surgeons who pioneered the procedures for catheterization and bypass of the coronary arteries. As a heart specialist and surgeon, Dr. Lees has seen firsthand the ravages of cardiac disease and understands the anatomy of the heart and of the disease processes that can lead to cardiac incidents and untimely death. Dr. Lees, you've spent many years in the operating theatre. How is it that you would recommend a patient finds a doctor before it's imperative that they need a doctor for surgery? Well, it is a very good question. The, the, the difficulty is knowing who the right person is for your particular problem. The classic example is the VIP, you know, the guy in Hollywood who talks to his friends at the cocktail party who tells him, hey, Dr. So-and-so is the right guy. You know, Michael Jackson used him, or Elvis Presley used him, or the Shah of Iran used him. The problem is you end up with the wrong type of person. or you just look up the yellow pages, you don't know one doctor from another, it's very difficult to find out. You need a good primary care person that you can trust and go by his advice or you just have to search around. So Dr. Lees, people might experience symptoms that would be confusing with other ailments. How do people know when they have a serious problem and they should come and see you? Symptoms may be as uh, blatant as chest pain, typically crushing, tightening in the center of the chest. Classically, it frequently goes down the left arm, sometimes up to the jaw, but sometimes through to the back. It's a very variable thing, but you know, as Dr. Soans used to say, about 50% of the patients have no symptoms. And in fact, more and more, this is what we're seeing. Patients who are diabetic frequently don't have the nerve endings to cause the pain, so they may be having ischemia or lack of blood supply to the heart or other organs, and they're not aware of it. They can't experience the pain. Those are the ones who worry me. Dr. Lees, you see a large amount of patients when it becomes an emergency situation. How would you encourage the ordinary person to take preventative care of themselves? You know, absolutely vital that the person get engaged with a physician at an early stage. And I, I like to think that I'm one of those physicians who could perhaps help in that regard. Uh, as time's gone on, I've made more and more of an effort to be involved in the preventive side. I think uh, counseling of the patient and what's a healthy lifestyle, uh, assessing the patient in terms of pre-existing uh, disease, whether some, you know, fattening, fatty changes in the arteries, some hardening of the arteries has already begun, can be diagnosed in the office frequently by listening to the carotid arteries in the neck, uh, sometimes even by checking pulses in the legs. And of course we have Doppler testing that we can do and frequently you can pick up the early stages of uh, atherosclerotic disease, hardening of the arteries, whatever you want to call it. So getting to a physician who can make that diagnosis and then provide the earlier forms of treatment would be very important. According to the American Heart Association, cardiovascular diseases claimed over 800,000 lives in 2006 and over 150,000 Americans killed by cardiovascular disease in 2006 were under age 65. 
coronary heart disease is the single leading cause of death in America today. If you're a patient having any of these symptoms that we've just talked about, you need specialised evaluation. And I would be happy to see you and evaluate these problems and diagnose whatever is going on, make the appropriate recommendations.